first half, and then you <laughs> kicked it in gear the second half. What was the difference? Um, honestly, I just got out my own head. I was thinking too hard and trying too hard, and instead of just letting my game come to me, like I knew that once I saw the ball going one time for me, that that was going to give me the confidence that I need to go ahead and just be the player that I know I could be. Uh, running the court, getting down there, getting getting that position down low, that's important. Mm -hmm. Um, That's all we preached um, this past offseason was running down the floor. We want to be a pressing team, and we want to be a transition team. We want to push the ball, and we want to run other teams. And that's what I ultimately had to get prepared for. And positioning, that's all. that makes all the world. That makes you rather wide open, or that makes you not open at all. And the important thing was that you get in, you get position, and not only when you get position, but you <coughs> demand the ball after you get it. And I feel like in the second half, that's what I kind of, once I got going, that's what kind of came natural to me, was running down the floor, sprinting ahead, and then trying to find, looking for someone to steal and sit on. So position is very important. Uh, this is your first double-digit game this year, and I know at the beginning of the game you had some foul trouble. Mm -hmm. We're, you know, but it didn't seem to affect you in the second half. Were you frustrated at all with <laughs> what was going on that first half? Um, no player can go in halftime with one point and two fouls and say that they're not frustrated. But the thing is how you respond to your frustration. And I felt like when I came out, I had nothing to lose. The game was our, we were down. It was like, look, you rather pick it up for your team or you let them down again. And that's how I ultimately felt this whole season. And my whole thing was getting back to the old me, getting back to the Sasha I knew I could be. And that was the most ultimate important thing for me was getting back to how I used to be, getting back to the man of the ball and to being that hard-nosed player that I'm capable of being. So that's ultimately what I was coming out in the second half thinking that my team, they, they've done all they can for me. Why not give it back? How important is it going to be against Connecticut to have a better start than what you had tonight? It's going to make all the, all the difference. I mean, a team like Connecticut, they're <laughs> a number one seed. They have a tradition of winning. What we have to do is we it has to be we have to focus on us. We can't we can control what we can control and that's how we start. And we can also control how we play and how we finish. And we gotta be we gotta come together as one. That's the important thing. I feel like first half we were all individual minded and once we came together in the second half and we came together and we said this is what we're finna do, let's do it now then that makes the world a difference. And a team like Connecticut, you have to show them that you're together from the beginning. You can't be apart because if they see you are apart as a team, then they're going to run right through you. I think it's we got to come together and play solid and play Georgia Tech basketball.